Welcome to part 8 of our Fundamentals of Excel 2010 course. In our last video, we began discussing a little bit about the way you can format the content in your workbook. We're going to continue that in this video by talking about how to work with the borders and the fill effects inside of Microsoft Excel. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, you're going to see the border and the fill effects right up here. And these are oddly placed because they're actually in the font section. But you will be able to choose your border style and your fill style from right here. You're going to notice that the button is actually split. There's the button itself, which will apply the last border style you chose. And then there's the drop down arrow to the right of the button, which will give you a menu with different kinds of options. And again, you'll see both of those buttons are split like that and will give you different options. And that's also true for other buttons like the font color option right here um, and some other buttons inside of Microsoft Excel like underline has some options on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and highlight this block of cells here and I want to apply just a light background shading in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down and you'll see I have these different choices here and I'm going to go ahead and select this green right here and that will be the color of my top area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these calculations down here and I'm going to apply a slightly lighter effect to those down there. There I go. So I've successfully changed the background color. Now I can also change the border style that's on my table right now. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this block of cells here and let's, whoops, too many. And let's say we want to apply some borders. Now right now the default is no border because I haven't applied anything yet. Actually if I was to go back here to the fill color, the default fill color, you can see is whatever I last selected. I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down arrow here and you can see we've got a wide variety of different items that we can choose from. Or we can come down here to more borders and if I click that, it will actually open the Borders tab of the Format Cells dialog box. And I can choose some different options in here. But I'm going to click Cancel because most of the time what you're going to do is you're going to use these options on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by saying that um, I'm going to choose a different line color here. I'm going to say that the uh, lines around here should be... Uh, uh, I'm going to pick something that will stand out, like this blue here. And then you're going to see I get a little pencil. Now I can actually go ahead and draw that border in there. And you'll see how I'm putting that border on salesperson. I want to put that in between total and that row as well. Now you don't actually have to use that pencil. You can go ahead and use any of these presets that are right up in here. Now, you're going to see I've still got the pencil there. To get out of my border drawing tool, what you're going to want to do is press the escape key on your keyboard, and that will bring you back. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight these cells, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to say that I want a thick top and bottom border on there. I'll go ahead and click that. And you'll see how that default shows up there. And again, the last line color that I chose was um, that blue. So it's going to continue in that line color until I change it. I may want a thick bottom border there. So I can go ahead and click on that. And uh, I'm just going to actually, yeah, thick bottom border right here. And you'll see that that border has been applied there as well. So that's a quick tour of these two options right here, the border tool and the uh, fill color tool.